People often say to me when they see me pulling in these large, gnarly, toothy fish, aren't you scared? Well, I am scared up to a point. But I'll tell you what makes me really scared, and that is being in a world where you can't find those creatures. If you're an angler, you know, it is something very special to catch a large predatory fish. At the same time, from the point of view of a biologist, seeing that large predatory fish is a sign that this lake, this river, is healthy. If they are not there, the water is in trouble. And if the water's in trouble, I'll tell you what, we are also in big trouble. I've been fishing for over 50 years now. For the greater part of that, I've been fishing in remote places. And what has shocked me, really, is that even in really remote places, it's very hard to find those fish. And the reason for that is that they're getting more scarce. But because it's happening beneath the water's surface, it's mostly out of sight. Gone are the days where you can catch a fish and put it on the wall. It's all about catch and release. This decline of big fish is happening right in front of us. And this is often because of uncontrolled removal of fish, which has a very rapid effect on a healthy river. One thing we also take for granted about a river is that it keeps on flowing. But the trouble is, if we take too much out of the system, for example, for industry or for agriculture, suddenly the whole thing is at risk of collapse, which is bad news in terms of the health of the whole underwater ecosystem and the health of the water itself. My wish is for people to wake up to the fact that fresh water is immensely important. And in terms of regenerating fresh water and freshwater life, in certain places I can see good things happening, thanks to people you know, being bold and thinking in a new way. What I'm hoping is that in 50 years' time, the world will actually be transformed if we can improve the health of our water and the health of everything that lives there, this will benefit human health, our physical health, and there is actually a huge psychological benefit to a healthy environment. It is perfectly possible, it's not rocket science. And the thing about nature is, if you give it a bit of a helping hand, you can be amazed at the results. We have it in our power to do something about it.